check this is Morley again Morley the programmer ang um, papakita ko po sa inyo isang isa sa mga ginawa ko um, I, sometimes kasi pag meron akong bakante I always keep encoding nagsisearch ako yung ano yung mga magagandang features na pwede natin i-attach with our system una, yung ginawa ko is yung real-time data display with Laravel, Vue.js and WebSockets and then ngayon is itong drag and drop with Vue.js so kung makikita nyo dito um, I try to display the three groups that I have group 1 group 2 and group 3 ito so each group has contains of their own array ito ito and ito so kung ma-observe nyo is siyang multi-dimensional array ito po so pinakasok natin siya sa object which name namely groups so each group ayan, meron silang sariling id name ito, and then yung items nila is inside in an array so, ang mangyayari dito is if you drag this one ayan, if you drag this one ayan, if you drag this one here ayan, drag this one drag this one, ayun diba? it's easy to drag and drop especially in your website, you want to have this kind of features which is drag and drop and which is very very good for all all users um, depende pa rin sa product at services mo but basically drag and drop, it will make their life more easier to use your website especially like in an enterprise level um, something in the company inside and then here may ginawa kong extra coding sa dapping ko and then um, everything here is just basic CSS so kung titingnan nyo, kung i-drop ko si item 7 to group 1 group 1 kasi ito group 1, group 2, and group 3 makikita mo dito group 1 has a new item of 7 and then ito, group 2 has a new item ID of 1 and then group 3 has a new item of has a new item ID of 5 so ito po yung basic na ginawa ko later on, we will be digging in for some new features na ilalagay natin dito and then kayo na yung bahala kung if you think this is useful sa features nyo or sa system nyo especially in configuration or it's up to you okay that's all um, later on gagawa tayo ng mas magandang to do up um, technically mga features features nung yung mga ginagawa ko hindi talaga ako gumagawa na ng mga as a system as a whole so depende na sa inyo yan kung if you think na applicable sa inyo itong ginagawa kong to do this mga uh, basic lang po naman to and then ano pa ba um, tapos na yung tutorial natin for Laravel TDD part 1, 2, 3 and 4 the last part is yung deployment sa AWS sana manood kayo and okay po salamat